All right, just about done with pretty much all the projects I started over the winter. Got these fenders, uh, Raptor Linered. That's uh, one of their colors, a metallic uh, black is what they call it. Put these light panels on. They are wired into the turn signal as well. All the lights down the side. Added in the Dynasys APU. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do about the condenser, so it's on the side of the toolbox for the time being. It wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to open the toolbox if I'd put it in the standard spot up above. It's got you got the shore power kit so I can plug it in when I'm home and keep the cab warm without actually running it. Here's inside, there's the whole climate control box, shore power kit, outlets, junction box, all that. There's the bottom of my microwave. The uh, way that this one's different than a normal APU, it's basically just a 6,000 watt generator. And then the heat and AC and all that's electronic. Uh, next steps for the truck, I've got a new grill sitting in the garage, I've got a drop visor sitting in the garage, and just didn't have time to do any of that. And here's a green bean trailer I'm pulling this, probably be pulling this for the rest of the summer. Over in here, Got my inverter mounted. There's a little center console box I made with six by nines mounted in it. Then we'll organize her over the passenger seat. A 10 inch subwoofer right there. Underneath that iced tea is a five channel Pioneer amp. All the lights I put on the interiors, these little button lights. And these uh, watermelons with a red backlighter from Roll Cool. I've got them wired so I can select red or white. Then going into the back, uh, 12 volt freezer. There's my power recliner, inverter controls, power recliner controls. And I got, uh, I think it's a 43 inch TV. I uh, made that panel down there. The bottom corner, that's uh, my bunk heat in the winter, that's cool and powered. And that's just a uh, air filter I put on to kind of help filter the air when the APU is running. Uh, air fryer, convection, microwave, espresso machine. Here's a controller for the APU. It's fairly handy. So about it um i ended up putting a lid it's hard to see but put a lid on the uh upper bunk so i've got some storage underneath there and then i was able to support a taller mattress or wider mattress so that's about it i think um oh yeah not gonna be able to see them in the daylight but Added in some little lights on the back of the truck on a three-way momentary switch. And then rewired this. So I got my headlights and then that runs my tail lights and fender lights and all that. And then 
clearance lights, one's on the roof, one's on the trailer, and those are with an interrupter. And then this is all my, basically all my chicken lights. And then this one is a switch that makes it all go blue. There's a subwoofer and there's the amp. I don't know if it'll stay there, but at least while I'm getting it dialed in, it's nice to be able to adjust the settings without digging for it. And then there's the little rigid lights I added to the back. Those are about a thousand lumens a piece is what they claim. They seem to do pretty good. New mud flaps on the front end. Yeah. Yeah, little by little, it's coming together. <laughs> 